Shame. The first thing you want to respond when someone says something that bothers you is with shame that makes you low value, man. If insults, that's how you respond when somebody says something that lowers your value, when somebody says something that bothers you, it lowers your value. If guilt, that's how you respond when somebody says or does something that bothers you, that lowers your value. And if you need to be right above, above all else at all times when dealing with other people, with men in particular, it lowers your value. I always find it very funny whenever I see men talking about like our grandmas and our aunties and like the older generations of women and how different we are from them and we don't do what they used to do. Because it seems to be very lost on them that the reason that we're not like this genera that generation is because they specifically told us not to be like them. <laughs> okay, so she thinks she got one up on us, but let's see what a woman from that generation have to say. Hey y'all, it's Granny here, and I need to say this, so I'ma say it. Damage women, damage women. I'ma say it one more time for the bitches in the back who probably did not hear me, but damage women, damage women. I say this because many of our black girls have been raised in a household where their entire lives, they've heard grandmother, mama, auntie say what? Men ain't shit. And who are they referring to? The only men that they pretty much interact with, black men. So our black girls have been conditioned their entire lives to believe that the black man ain't shit. Uh -huh. So it doesn't matter about how much money he make or what he does or who he is. They've already been conditioned to believe that the black man ain't shit. With that being said, I want to give a shout out to my mama and to myself for not raising girls in a household of hearing that black men ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> He, he barely making, he make $1,000 a week. That's nothing. $1,000 a week is a lot of money. That's $4,000 a month. At the taxes, it's 800 Hear me out, because 80% of the time, I'm always rooting for women, especially black women. Y'all know how I feel about y'all, or us, should I say. But this mentality right here is exactly why women stay single for so long. It's okay to set standards as high as you want, but just make sure you're able to reach your own standards. Because sometimes I feel like we be set standards that we can't even meet ourselves. To sit on that podcast and say that that man is a bum if he makes a thousand dollars a week, that sounds a bit ridiculous. And I see a lot of people in the comments going in on her wig and I want to speak on it. I think a lot of times women set standards that they can't even meet themselves. You cannot expect a man to come with a horse, a carriage, and a buggy, and you are not even Cinderella material. Not saying she's not worthy of love. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, before you get on here bashing men for, for working and actually making a living, just think about what you're saying. Because for me, a man that's getting up every day, making money and making a living for himself and providing for himself and can also provide for me if need be, I'm all right with that. If a man is able to love and care for me and, and, and be there for me and be my partner and treats me well, I'm okay with that. And do you know what you can do with a thousand dollars a week? Do you know what you can invest? Do you know what you can maintain with a thousand dollars a week? You probably can get you a new wig. <laughs> okay. So in June, 2020, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics released data on the average weekly and annual salaries broken down by race and gender. Now, it's a double disparity for black women because they're making less than white men and they're making less than black men. And they're also making less than white women. Annually, they're making 40,500 a year and black men are making 43,000. Now, if you're saying 40,000 is nothing, you're insulting black women. And the other thing that gets me is how are all of these women acting like they're doing so much better than black men, but they're making less annually than black men. Even though it's not a significant amount more, they're still making less. So why are they acting like they're doing so much better? Make it make sense. The motherfucker guilty. His ass gotta be guilty. That's not the only reason, but yes, a lot of men, black men in particular, date white women because one, they're anti-black, they have internalized racism, and two, a lot of them feel like moving up in the world requires being with, dating, marrying a white woman because 
they are of a higher social class. This is why you see so many professional football players with white wives. They're in a new socioeconomic status by being with a white woman. A lot of those white women come from money. Black people who are anti-black, mostly men, tend to have mixed children because they want to soften the features in themselves that they hate. Anti-blackness is literally everywhere. You know, uh, saying good hair versus bad hair. Don't stay in the sun too long. Light skin is the right skin. Yes, I heard that growing up. People who date outside of their race often have internalized racism. I think most black men are dating outside their race because they're having too many problems with black women. This woman is given narcissistic vibes. She's projecting her abhorrence for black men by saying black men hate ourselves if we date out. They refuse to look at themselves in the mirror and find drawbacks. So then you get mad because we won't take you as you are. Some of these black women think black men can't even have standards. Oh, and men don't marry for status. That's what women do. That's like saying men are hypergamous. Men are not marrying women to become a part of a prosperous family. They more than anything want well-mannered wives. Sad. I have no problem with this logic. This makes sense based on the numbers. We are definitely going to likely run into an average earning black man over a high earning black man. That is more probable. Anyone raised or lowered raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the it is possible to run into a higher earning black man depending on what circles you travel in but it is more probable for us to run into an average earning man nothing wrong with that this is not a flex against the way that black men are generating income in this society here is the issue that we are having let me be clear on that Oh man, here we go. The issue is navigating the black man's shame and fragility about where he stands economically as a whole. Now who saw that coming? Right? Um, This is the core motivation behind them continuing to demean us for being educated and for prioritizing ourselves financially. And what I am saying is as the self-proclaimed logical ones, how could it ever make sense that we wouldn't pursue these endeavors when many of us are coming from a poverty background and or a lower middle class background and it's not giving us the opportunity to have this reality where women black women are allowed not to work it is really not a reality unless we're working or we're starting a business that's really not our reality so how are black men as the self-proclaimed logical ones actually upset that women who generally tend to come from lower middle class or impoverished backgrounds are doing what it takes to obtain upward mobility. They think we should sacrifice our own functionality and upward mobility for their egos. Sad. They really think that this is a fair trade. We should sacrifice talking about our accomplishments, development, blood, sweat, and tears for your egos. That is insanity to me. It's complete insanity to me. It's it's audacious. It's entitled. It is ridiculous at the end of the day. So it's not the average earning that's a problem. It's the fact that black men are not realistic. That's the damn problem. Then anything that even triggers their fragile ego goes and it becomes demonized and it's ridiculous these men need to learn how to deal with their triggers period that's quite interesting to me
It usually be these little raggedy motherfuckers like his self that can't change a tire or do any kind of manly things around the house asking a woman, can you cook and can you clean as if that's all we're good for. Yes, again, that's a three. You gotta be kidding. But then you take your raggedy ass over to another country, get your little passport, and you brag about a woman that can cook and clean and you don't have to go through certain things. Well, sir, they haven't experienced you yet. So once they get to cooking and cleaning, rubbing your feet, doing all those great things, and they see that bullshit that you do, the bullshit that you tried in America with American women, you turn them into just how the women in America that you're running from, you turn them into them. It takes a while. It takes what, maybe a year, year, two, three, maybe four, maybe take them a little longer for you to get on their motherfucking nerves, and they feel used, and they feel tired, because your solution because a motherfucker like you to have a solution to get a passport go to another country it t it seems like when r kelly was grooming the young women that not young women excuse my language the young girls the little girls when he was grooming them it's like an old man grooming a young wanting preferring a younger woman because she's naive and upset with all the older women and don't want the older women because they know your bullshit they call you out on your bullshit you can't run game and all that shit so it's similar to that and Y'all be trash. Y'all be trash. That's why you got to run to. That's why you have to run to other countries for women. And then I see men like, why are you so mad? You're mad because they don't want you. Well, shut the fuck up. We don't want y'all. That's why you're running to another country. We don't want y'all. You're not successful in America. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Bye. Oh, cranky, mangy, lazy, stinky. Hey. Oh. Fuck off.